So after doing a review for The Blood of Heroes, I said that it's a great sports movie because there's no romantic subplot. But there's plenty of great movies that are romance movies with a sports subplot. And I did IMDb search. There's 46 such movies. I've seen 31 of them. Eight of them are not comedies. So here we go. Eight quick reviews. Cinderella Man. Great Ron Howard directed movie. It's a true story of James J. Braddock, who was a boxer during the Depression and came from nothing to become world champion. Well directed, well done. Definitely a must watch. Varsity Blues. Uh, backup quarterback. The main quarterback is injured and he takes his place. I much prefer the program. Better uh, love story. Same sports plot. Program is much better in my opinion. IMDb puts them at identical as 6.4. Jerry Maguire. Uh, a sports agent quits his agency, opens his own thing, and falls in love with a single mom. I honestly don't like this one. It's a little too cheesy for me. I know it's a big time movie. I know people love it, but I it's not my thing. I really don't like it. Wimbledon. Uh, it's about a experienced tennis player who is falling down in the rankings and a young tennis player who is coming up in the rankings. They meet in the middle and they fall in love and they help each other become better. It's really well done, really well directed. I really like this one. Uh, mostly tennis movies aren't my thing, but I really like this one. For the love of the game. Kevin Costner movie. It's about a pitcher in the middle of pitching a perfect game and he flashes back to his love life and how he got here. His final season, his career is over, and all he has left is love, and it really works. It's really well directed, really well put together. It's a really good movie. Uh, Against the Ropes. Horrible, horrible movie. Uh, it's another true story, but it's about a female boxing promoter. They make her look like crap. It's poorly done. Just... Totally avoid it. Vision Quest. 1985 high school wrestling movie about a coming of age story of a kid who needs to lose weight to face the best wrestler in the country. Uh, it, has, it deals with anorexia. The love story is kind of statutory rapey, but it, overall is a good movie. Blue Crush, probably the worst movie I've ever seen. Bottom 10 movies I've ever seen. Uh, horrible jokes, horrible everything. The plot makes no sense. She is basically forced to make one run at the end of the movie. And they're like, oh, you don't fucking suck. Here's a million dollar endorsement deal. Movie makes no sense. Uh, two comedies at the end that I felt really needed mentioning. Run, Fat Boy, Run. Simon Pegg is really well done, really well directed. It's about a guy proving that he can finish something to his ex-girlfriend and takes down his ex's current boyfriend in the process. Heaven Can Wait. Uh, Warren Beatty is really well done. Uh, it's a comedy. But it's, it was remade into a Chris Rock movie. It's really well done, though, and definitely worth the watch. Almost no sports in it, but it's other than he owns a sports team. But it's really well done and definitely a classic. And there's a reason why it was remade. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for this one. Uh, Thank you for watching, and as always, I shall try to do better next time.